everyone, I'm Andrew D. Watson, and welcome to this week's video on this guy. This is my brand new GoPro rig. Uh, the main reason I set this up was that GoPro footage can add so much production value to your project. You can mount it on your car, you get really nice low shots, put it on a drone, get really high shots. You can boom your, your GoPros if you don't have a jib or a, a, a drone. But the downside to that is you're shooting blind. And the backpack that you can normally get for a GoPro can get pretty expensive. The, the uh, other HTMI uh, monitors that you get online that are high definition get very expensive. This setup cost me around $30, $35. So let me give you a closer view on what's going on here and how I have this all set up. What I really have here is a backup monitor for a, where you put in automobiles. This is, you would connect this to the backup camera to the TV and it'll run off power from the car, but uh, so power of the camera, I have this rechargeable lit uh, battery pack that you usually runs for like LEDs for uh, like Christmas lights on the outside when you don't want to run power to your um, from from your house and run your <laughs> your electricity bill. But it, it supplies 12 volts, which is per which is what this uh, monitor requires. And again, it's live footage. Um, and it's connected through the composite cable from the GoPro. And the one complaint that I have on the setup is the backup battery or the battery pack is at a very odd spot. Um, I might mess around with this setup a little bit more, but your setup might be different. But the way I connected the, the battery pack without any like screws or, or glue or stuff like that, I had this, uh, let me go ahead and remove this battery. I had this cell phone clip tripod mount thing that really fit the the battery pack very perfectly and I again I wasn't using it so it just without drilling any holes to like the battery pack or using some glue or velcro is another logical thing that people would use monitor itself it comes with this if I can get this off come on I don't know if you can see that but it comes with this clip on the back but all I had to do is put a uh, three fourths I believe whatever the standard tripod uh, screw thread thread dimension is, but that not just fit really well in there. So I just dropped that in there and then used the, the and threaded it through uh, on my mount. And then it just clips on really easily. And I was just, again, I'm really surprised at how well this works. But there's one thing you want to keep in mind when setting these up. For some stupid reason, I have no idea why, there are no speakers on this monitor, but for some reason they have an audio jack. and. I don't know if that's the focus or not, but they have an audio jack and it took me forever to figure out why it wasn't turning on. But if you plug the audio jack into the composite cable of the, uh, from the GoPro, the, the, the freaking monitor won't turn on. So it took me forever to figure out what was causing it. So, but I finally, I just plugged in the video and then the monitor turned on magically. Now the downside to this setup is that it's not full HD, but that's not the point of, of the reason I did this. The reason I did this is so I could see what my, my camera is seeing. And I really don't need to see it in HD. And if uh, I frame things wrong, if you have the capability of, I, I believe it's the black version, the, uh, the Hero 4 Black that has 4K resistance. I have the, the Hero 3 Plus and does uh, 2.5K at uh, 30 frames a second and 24 frames a second. I, you could always downscale that. It'd be great resolution in your picture. Another downside to this is that you lose the waterproof housing uh, for for this because of the housing that I have on it right now. It's uh, You lose the water seal on it. And obviously the battery pack and the monitor isn't waterproof as well, so you lose that. And some of you might be thinking that the GoPro app connects directly to your GoPro. You could see what your camera is seeing through that app on your smartphone or your tablet. But the problem with that is that there's like a three second delay and, I, and with the Hero 3 and, a, and other versions of GoPro, I don't know how it is for the Hero 4 Black, but there's no live recording feed. When you hit record, the screen goes black and there's no live preview. With this, you get a live preview. It's very beneficial to have a live preview of what you're shooting because when you're getting to complex movements, and you get that delay, it's super annoying and it'll throw your, your timing off with your scenes. There's nothing worse to get your GoPro footage back and then it's all, the, and it's not what you wanted and you're gonna have to go back and do some reshoots. And there are other things you could do with this setup as well. You could put your GoPro on a boom pole, run a large uh, composite wire down the boom pole to your monitor and you could 
get really high shots, instead of guessing what you're shooting, you can look at what you're shooting through the monitor. Again, live feed, get, get your movements down precise, and there's no more guessing. Uh, I just, I re I'm really surprised at how well this setup worked. I ran a couple of test shots uh, before with out the, the monitor and with the monitor and the differences, it's just, it's just, it's great. And your setup might be, might be different than mine. This is just uh, pieces of, of other rigs that I've built over the years and these pieces were just lying around. I stopped using them. And I'll put all the links to where you can get these on Amazon in the descriptions below. So that's this setup right here that uh, I'm, again, I'm extremely happy with. I was a little skeptical of how this would work and if it would work at all and it ended up working fantastically. So if you found this video helpful, hit that thumbs up button. If you have any questions or you have any topics you want me to cover, you can leave them in the comment section below or tweet them to me at Drew D. And we'll be doing tip and tutorial videos every week, so be sure to subscribe to be up to date on all those. So until next time, I'm Andrew D. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next week.